believed to be a factor. The water coming out of some Redford Township faucets tonight does not look to be very safe. Residents telling us the water pressure also affected by multiple water main breaks that happened at about the same time. 7 Action News reporter Curtis Jackson joins us live from Redford with the details on this. Curtis, what do you know? Well, Carolyn, I'm here on Seminole, and just take a look at this. You can see that those water main breaks have created small streams in many homes or near many homes and also formed this very thick and nasty looking foam that started pretty much right after that water main break. Inside water pressure, a big concern tonight. Several homeowners dealing with low water pressure and discoloration. Residents believe it all started after the heavy rain moved through. Police have received dozens of complaint calls. They put the number of busted water mains at about eight, but they're just not sure. Officials are still trying to determine the exact number and trying to figure out what caused those breaks. Meanwhile, low water pressure means no laundry, no showers, and the discoloration also raises concerns about the safety of the drinking water. It's hot outside right now, sweating a lot, dehydrated. You want to come get some water? It's nasty. You either have to boil it or wait for them to fix it, hopefully, you know, within the next 24 hours. And as you can see, this obviously can create some concern, especially when you start to think about drinking some of this water. Again, no real cause right now on these breaks. No timeline yet as well for when they're actually going to have them repaired. No water boil advisory or boil water advisory has been uh, uh, sent out as of yet, but police are telling people who call them not to wash or drink this water. Live in Redford tonight, Curtis Jackson, 7 Action News. All right, Curtis, real important information.